Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what I picked up this week, then keep watching. So hey everyone, I hope you're all doing okay today. I won't waffle long because I know I have a habit of doing that. Um, but this is a Tesco grocery haul. I have worked with them in the past, but obviously this isn't an ad. Um, and I've got a few little new bits in this that I've not seen before, which you might find interesting or exciting if you're a bit like me. I love new foodie items. Um, and then I will run through the meal plan at the end. So if you want to see more, then keep watching. Okay, so starting with fruit and veg, we've got some seasonal apples. If you have to see these, by the way, they're really nice, um, super red as well. Um, Mouse pipe potatoes, bananas, we've got an insecure watermelon. I may not look my best, but I'm still perfectly tasty. Um, I accidentally ordered a mini one. I was quite shocked when that first came. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And then there's a little label, it says mini, but that is smaller than other mini ones that I've got before, I've got to say. Um, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, baby spinach, I've said bananas, I've got limes, satsumas, two very girthy cucumbers. Oh dear. Um, garlic, baby plum tomatoes, coriander, rosemary and mint, and then some avocados and spring onions and sweet jam lettuce. Um, we'll probably get through all of this fairly easily, but might need to top up on fruit at some point. You'll see that there's some bananas and satsumas over there because we've run out. Um, and we go through so many bananas. Mark's training for a marathon again. Um, and they're like a good sort of snack post and pre-run kind of thing. Um, then store cupboardy items. I've got some Thai red curry paste. The pip and nut crunchy peanut butter was on offer for two pounds instead of like nearly four. Um, which I was really pleased about. I want it for a recipe, but it's particularly nice, this brand, on like toasts and stuff. Got some applesauce, coconut milk, rigatoni and jasmine rice. And then these are new, um, apple and watermelon flavour jellies. I just like sometimes will fancy a sweet treat. And I've been really working hard since about like end of October time to get my fitness up again and get healthier and I'm starting to see results and sometimes you just make it a bit easier for yourself if you've got things in that you can like go to when you've got like a little craving for something. Um got some these are in the wrong place. Ignore those. Um some wafer thin Brunswick ham, the just roll things were on offer for one pound something. So I picked them up, both of them up, because the dates are normally pretty good on them. Like this one is March and this one is March as well. So it just means like if they're there, I might as well buy them while they're cheaper. I got some Philadelphia double cream, Greek style yogurt, cheese slices, and halloumi, and then I've got meat wise a massive pork boneless shoulder joint. So what I'm gonna do with this is actually stick it in the slow cooker. I did this the other weekend with a gammon uh, joint um, and basically just put it in with some water and cook it all day pretty much. I might even do this one overnight because it's quite hefty and it basically makes like pulled pork but instead of doing like the kind of barbecue style I'm gonna do it um with like apple and stuffing in baps kind of thing and um, because I think that will go down really nicely and everyone enjoys it and it's so easy what I do is um I make this in a slow cooker and then as a side I'll do like veggies I will do like mini roast potatoes and then it's just a really simple meal to do on a Sunday and this is £9.28 there's no way that we will consume all of this meat on Sunday so the leftovers I'm going to incorporate into another meal as well so um it feels like a big purchase up front but then when you divide it out between like meals it's actually quite cost effective especially for the fiber was I find um I've got some treats though. I got a little pack of statements because I'm gonna do some homemade burgers for the kids and do a fake away McDonald's on Saturday night. Um Mark's at the football that day, so I'm gonna do theirs a bit earlier because it didn't normally get back until like probably six, half six, something like that. I can't really remember off the top of my head. So that's what the cheese slices are for as well. Um ignore my can of coke. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. I got a garlic flatbread, tomato and garlic, sorry, because that was on offer. The chocolate full of crepes, I got those just because they're always handy to have in for mornings where the kids are on an 
anti-cereal um, strike at the moment. So these are two different ones that I've got in to try just because I actually was quite excited by the chocolate cornflakes. I swear that we had these as a kid as kids once. Does anyone else remember them? Because I, I, I have a vague recollection. And then I got some curiously cinnamon because they were both on offer. And then I got some burger buns, a tasty and some bagels. Um, so that is everything over there. And then over here, frozen items we've got some petit pois i just prefer them to normal peas i don't know why i just do um chunky fish fingers run off so i got those some of the co-fresh tandoori garlic naan is back in stock i'm so glad because i love this stuff it is so authentic if you look at the photo here it really does come out looking like that and it's so tasty um got these for the kids they are cherry flavored ice lollies and apple flavored ice lollies but they're a bit tangy thought the kids would really like them and they already it's like christmas out of the way they're like yeah so can we have an ice cream and i'm like it's it's well no it's not january actually it's february now <laughs> um i'm just stocking up and i thought i would get those um three to one offer the fruit splits were on offer the bare ones um my kids really like these and um this is the raspberry and pineapple flavor i got the go go squeezes again fruit winders are actually super affordable as like a little lunch box edition like one pound 70 or something like that and then i got frazzles watsits and frisps because they're all firm favourites. Um, and then what we got over here? Barista coconut. These are new to me. Uh, Tesco and Aldine vanilla and hazelnut flavour capsules. So I'm hoping that they will be nice um, because the Starbucks ones have gone up to like £4, £4.50 now again. And um, that's just so expensive. I know that you can go and buy a coffee from like Costa or Starbucks or whatever for like £4, just one coffee. But I feel like it feels weird buying a pack of coffee pods for that much, whereas these are like £2.75, something like that. Um, we've got some Time to Buy Crackers, Orange Zero and Lemon and Lime Zero for the weekend for the kids. New Chocolate Orange Mini Eggs. I'm so excited about these. I'm really excited about them. Um, and then I've got some normal ones as well. And I know that it's only February and Easter's ages off, but I'm half tempted to like put them in my little bunny jar that I've got. That would probably be sad, but I might do it anyway. I might. Um, and then we've got some Coke Zero Caffeine Free. That's Mark's. I'm all right for Coke, so I didn't get any. Um, passion Fruit Smoothie and some Toilet Roll. And I like these extra long rolls now. You get six. Um, but I just do like two for each toilet and like it divides out quite nicely. Um, and yeah, that is everything. Okay, so on to the meal plan. Um, this is running from Friday to Thursday because I do already have stuff for tonight, which was from last week's. Um, so I'm doing um, cheesy chorizo quesadillas with like honey for the kids. Um, I'm gonna do like hummus and like cucumber sticks and I've got carrot left in. Um, and I might do some like fries on the side as well just to make sure that like you know there's plenty there and then um they can choose like from various things and they can knock themselves out with a tango i don't know sub zero tang ice lolly if, if you will in fact i really need to hurry up and do this so i can put those away but um one sec but for us because mark is cooking tonight um and like he doesn't profess to be like the kind of guy that loves to cook and it's much more me um like i'm a bit of a kitchen hugger to be honest um but he got me this book the jamie oliver mediterranean um you know the five ingredients type one and um he's making i'm trying to find it for you now but i can't remember what page it was on here we go so i found it it is greek cypriot pasta so it's orzo fresh tomato parsley and halloumi with um garlic and i don't know with these i always find that they're really really good but i often use them as like a base for things like i'm like oh that's a really good idea 
I might just chuck that in to add a bit more veg or chuck that in because it needs heating up. But this is what he's making us tonight. Um, and it looks really tasty. It should be quite simple as well. It's about 26 minutes, apparently. Very, very specific. Um, but I just thought I would share that. Like, if you are looking for inspo, I do find these books really good. And I think we've got all of them. Um, and I'll dip in and out of them from time to time. Um, but that is the plan for tonight. And then tomorrow, um, I'm gonna do a, you know like when you've got loads and loads of bits left over in the freezer from like either Christmas or just bits and bobs that don't always like, you never know how to use them up. Um, I'm gonna do like a big like sort of picky tea platter type thing. Um, I've got some bao in there. The kids love bao buns, um, especially the duck ones. So I'm gonna do them. I've got some cheesy chicken, like bites that were from Aldi that are like chicken nuggets, but with like a kind of what city crumb type thing, which is very much a more of a kid thing than me. My hair is mental. I'll clip my fringe out of the way because it was annoying me before and now, it's not a good look, that is it. Um, and then I'm gonna do like, um, like use up the leftover hummus, I do watermelon, we've got like crisps, nibbles, um, strawberries, and do like a big, big spread for them. Because they really, really enjoy stuff like that. And I find on Friday, they switch off so quickly you can just tell they're all tired and they want to go and have like time on their own like doing whatever they want to do particularly bills this is a really nice way of doing it and at the moment like normally if you've watched these videos before i'll normally go and visit um my grandparents on fridays after school but they are in the process of decorating their living room and they donated their sofas to charity and like did it early because they had a carpet slot book, but in the end their sofas, the new sofas aren't coming until the beginning of March. So at the moment, like they've got two chairs from a different part of their house, but then they were like, we might as well give it a break for a bit because there's like nowhere for you to sit, um, which is fine. So I'm gonna do that for the kids. And then for Mark and I, we've got like a couple of options um, because on, so basically he's at football on Saturday. Um, I think it, it must be a home game. Um, so I've got lamb kofta to have out of the freezer and we've got curry out of the freezer so we could have either of those um, either on Friday night or Saturday night um, and I like to bulk cook a lot of things it's just really handy for like weekends like that because as much as I love to cook sometimes I don't always want to be do doing it when I've been like solo with the kids all day because I, by that point I'm knackered um, and yeah so that's an option and then sometimes Mark's like oh can we order a pizza or something so that is always an option as well um but for saturday night for the kids um they i'm gonna do a mcdonald's fake away because i saw the chicken nuggets that aldi do um you know like they have it's, it's all in a cabinet in the freeze section they do like a big mac dupe and um chicken selects, chicken nuggets, they do the hash browns and they even do fries, but I've got fries in um, and I'd rather make the burgers myself from scratch if I'm honest. So I've got the burger meat, like I've got mince, beef mince, I've got a little burger press anyway that I'm gonna use. And I've got cheese slices, I've got mustard, I've got ketchup, I've got gherkins, although they'll all take the gherkin sauce, there's probably no point putting them on. Um, and I've got chicken nuggets, and then I'm gonna do fries. And then the only thing that was substituted from my shop was uh, corn on the cob again, because they love that, which I was gonna put with it as like some veggies. So I might nip out and get some of them like on Saturday or something. Um, but I'm gonna do that for them because I would have the car I was thinking, oh, shall I just get them like a, a McDonald's as a treat? But when we order it on like delivery, it always comes and it's never really that warm and I won't have the car and I just feel like, do you know what, I'm going to make it because I reckon I can make a really nice one and they'll enjoy that because I've done that before. And then if we have the kofta, obviously curry is self-explanatory because you just have like you know, rice and numb with it. But with the kofta, um, which I've already made, I'm gonna make um, homemade writer and then I do a big salad with it and then make it in like a nun like kebab. I thought that'd be really nice. Um, and yeah, Sunday I've already kind of touched on, I'm gonna do those roast pork baps in the slow cooker with roast potatoes. And then I've got, I've still got some broccoli in and cabbage left in, um, which needs using. So that's what I've kind of earmarked for that day. And then, 
Monday we're going to do creamy chorizo pasta um, because it is one that always goes down really well and I might film a little reel for that actually because it's one the kids really like and I did share it on my stories over lockdown but it's been a long time since then and I feel like I could probably update it a little bit. Um, then cheese day. Cheese day has been hard because of the way swimming lessons fall now. We have exactly like an hour in between, but that includes like driving there and back and then going back again. And I always want to make sure that Daisy's fed beforehand because otherwise she'll be starving by the time she gets back. She won't be eating until like half six, which is just too late for her. Um, so I did slow cook a pulled chicken this week, which was good, but still like... I put sides with it and I feel like that's what slowed it down a little bit so I'm just gonna go to the humble like fresh pasta I think with like pesto and stuff from now on or like hot dogs or like a picky plate so I've got hot dogs down because Daisy bloody loves a hot dog um, and I do that with like veggie sticks and stuff um, and that should be quick enough for her to eat at least and then for us I'm just gonna do like a freezer dive or use up whatever needs to use up at that point you know when things get a bit like sweaty and gross in the fridge and you're like oh you're that close to to needing to go in the bin i'm just gonna like it'll be like whack together a pasta dish whack together something else um just because i'll just feed us when we get back later on because it's just easier then on wednesday i'm gonna use the leftover pork from sunday to do a pork and peanut curry with rice so like a thai curry um it won't be like remotely traditional or authentic but it should be tasty and then Thursday Mark will be cooking again and then I've earmarked for the kids uh, fish fingers the giant ones with chips and mushy peas we've got mushy peas to use up and we've got fresh peas as well um because Stan's not always keen on the mushy ones and um, it'll just be a quick and easy one and then it will take us back to another day of meal plans and Mark will probably be picking something out of here again um but that is everything so I hope you found that useful and I will hopefully see you all very very soon